officials in Washington have not dedicated the attention or the resources or the time and expertise to making this a priority. But when will port security become a priority and what should our next step be? One would think that there would be people starting to put the pieces together where the systems would talk to each other. There'd be a uh, operations center that controls the operations of the port complex. There's just, just, I just don't see the synergy that needs to take place to have a real port security system. I'm not an alarmist person. I've been studying national security issues and re researching and writing about them for more than a decade. I spent a lot of time in the intelligence community. I've looked at weapons of mass destruction and the proliferation of these weapons. And of all the issues that I've studied in my career, port security is one of the few that really scares me. Because? Because I think we are so vulnerable, because I think it's so overlooked, and because the damages could be higher than any of us could anticipate. Joining us now with a couple of footnotes to the stories, our special correspondent, Judy Muller. Judy, what's the first thing that all these agencies need to do in order to work more effectively with each other? There are a lot of agencies here. They're all doing their best, but all of them have told us that the major priority is a communication system that allows them to all talk to one another. You may remember after 9-11, one of the major criticisms was that all those first responders were on different radio channels and couldn't talk to one another. And that comes back again to leadership, which you raised in the piece, where are we now? Where is the leadership? You're beginning to see some. The Coast Guard and the TSA are proposing some sort of identification system, an ID card, non-tamperable, and background security checks of all of these workers who come in and out of the port. And Michael Chertoff, who's Chief of Homeland Security, is suggesting that we increase the number of containers that are screened by these radiation detectors up from 5% now to perhaps 70% but that requires the cooperation of foreign ports and that it's by no means assured.